Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will teach you summarization and we'll look into detail first, steps to follow before writing a summary and second, steps to follow while writing a summary. So, a summary is a shortened passage which retains the essential information of the original. It is a fairly brief restatement in one's own words of the contents of a passage. And one simply has to report back what the writer has said without making any kind of significant opinions or judgments. It is a skill worth the time and effort as learners will use it throughout their academic careers and even later. It also provides benefit in reading, writing and critical thinking skills. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. First, steps to follow before writing a summary. So in this we have the first point, skim the text. So first try to understand the piece of the text and focus while reading without taking down notes. It should just be reading to get one's mind around the main points. Then second, you have to read the piece thoroughly. So to understand the specifics of the piece, the content should be thoroughly read again. Notes should be taken down and key passages should be highlighted. Even one should divide the parts and sections and the author's main idea should be taken into consideration. Third, you have to outline the text. The support point should be noted down using one's own words. Then fourth, you have to read, mark and annotate the original. So highlight the topic sentence, highlight the key points or the key words or the key phrases, highlight the concluding sentence and outline each paragraph in the margin. Now second we have steps to follow while writing a summary. Let's look at the first point. Clearly identify the work. So there should be clear identification of the work which will automatically let the readers know that one is summarizing a piece of another writer's work. The source that is author first, then last name, then title, then date of publication, then volume number, then place of publication, then publisher, then URL etc. should be clearly mentioned. Then second. Summarize the piece as one whole, omit nothing important and one should strive for overall consistency through suitable transitions. While summarizing language like the article claims or the author suggests can be used. The idea should be presented in a neutral fashion without including one's opinions or ideas or interpretations and should be concise as far as possible. Then third we have the layout. The main idea of the original should be paraphrased. The major supporting point should be in outline form. The major supporting explanations that is for example reasons, causes or effects should be properly connected. Then fourth, the writing tips. First, it should be written in the present tense. Second, it should be ensured that the author and title of the work are included. Third, it should be concise. Definitely a summary should not be equal in length to the original text. Then fourth, if the words of the author are used, then that should be cited. And then fifth, own opinions, ideas or interpretations should not be put into the summary. The purpose of writing a summary is to accurately represent what the author wants to say and not to provide an analysis. Then fifth, conclude with the final statement. So it should not be one's own point of view. However, it should reflect the significance of the article from the author's standpoint. Then sixth, you have to check for accuracy. Check for accuracy without jumping to an immediate conclusion. It should be checked that nothing is omitted and no personal interpretation is in any way expressed. And then seventh, revise the work. So now that the work has been monitored for accuracy and efficiency of tone and writing, one should finally check the spelling, grammar and punctuation errors. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this English lesson series and learned a lot. So you can continue studying with me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.